In the last video, we looked at how to make straight lines. This is going to be curved lines. Um, so again, quick review, straight line is click and let go. With a curve line, what we want to do, I'm just creating an initial starting point there by clicking and letting go. But if I want to curve this, I want to click and drag. Notice how I get these two handlebars attached to it. Um, it controls the location of the curve, the center point of the curve. And the farther I expand them, okay, it also controls the, um, the depth of the curve. All right, so you can come up with all kinds of cool creative shapes by doing this. Um, so again, click and drag to make curves. All right, so this is going to take a little bit to get used to. Um, now, I, with our direct selection tool, because again, just like our, our when working with straight lines, whenever you're working with the pen tool, you're very rarely going to get things right the first time. So you're going to have to go back over with your direct selection tool and manipulate these, these little handlebars. All right, these handlebars do not print. All right, and as soon as you click off the line, you see that they disappear. Um, but we can always go back and, and fix these handlebars to manipulate it to our line to fit exactly how we want it to fit. All right, so that's, that's going to be an, an important part. Now, I'm going to show you uh, something with the pen tool. Notice how it has kind of like a natural flow if we're creating um, some curves. All right, so in this case, it, it naturally curved down. All right, if we just do two points, click and drag. But maybe we want this curve, instead of curving down, we want it to curve over like hills, maybe. All right, so there's a tool located in our um, pen tool called anchor point tool. And the keyboard shortcut for that is Shift C. So we can take that and it allows us to change the direction of that curve. All right. Um, so let me give you maybe a more practical example. In this shape here, if we're um, coming up here, we're trying to trace. Things are going good, but you can see when I get here, I'm going to run into some issues. Um, I'm going to fill my color, fill color off here. And you're going to see that I'm going to have some issues here as well. So notice how this line, there we go, um, this line doesn't line up. It's not going the direction we want it to. And if I just try to take the handlebar and I turn it to fix it, it's going to also turn this side. So I don't want that. That's when I need this, this convert anchor point tool. And again, the keyboard shortcut is shift C, and now I can just grab one of those anchor points at one time, and I can turn that. And the same thing with down here. Like that. All right, so you're gonna, it's going to be incredibly obvious when you need this this tool because when you try to play around with the, um, the handles, it's not going to behave the way you want it to. So go ahead and um, try tracing these, these shapes. There's, there's four shapes here. 
and try to trace them with the pen tool. And these four shapes are actually could be used together to make maybe a more complex object. We're going to use these shapes in a future project. Uh, so make sure you do well with them and take your time, do them right. We're going to, like I said, use them in a bigger project down the road. So just make sure that you save this file right. And when you're done, go ahead and upload it to Canvas.